Hi, today we're looking at photographing little greaves. This is one of those species that can be extremely variable. In our city towns and along some of our canals, they can be some of the tamest birds going. But out in the open countryside, in the wilds, you won't get anywhere near, the, near to them. And it's one of the few species that doesn't accept a hide very readily either. And that's unusual amongst British birds. This is the most popular place to photograph little greaves in the country. It's the Cromford Canal in Derbyshire. You park very close to the High Peak Junction and then you've got a short walk, about 100 metres or so, to get to the drawbridge. And by that drawbridge there's some tables where people sit and have their picnics and drinks. And they are some of the tamest little greaves you're ever going to come across. They take no notice of people and they can just be half a canal width away from you. So I'm going to show you a few pictures taken on the Cromford Canal over the last few years. And you don't go in any direction more than a mile up or down the canal. It's close to the junction where they are the tamest. And then I'll show you some pictures taken in the wild and how you go about photographing little grebes in the wild. Perhaps one of the reasons the canal is so good for little grebes is it's not used for navigation. I did once see a barge come along here some years ago and there's the occasional canoeists. But the water is full of reeds and full of wildlife. Plenty of food for the little grebes. These days, whenever I start filming, it's in slow motion. This is using the Panasonic G9, which I've only recently bought, I'm playing around with. It gives me 180 frames per second slow motion versus the 120 frames per second I get on the Olympus camera. And I really enjoy seeing wildlife taken in slow motion. When you bathe, you have to get yourself thoroughly wet. Autofocus doesn't work when you shoot in slow motion, so everything has to be done manually, and that's not easy, but you do have to have peaking set so that the pixels that are sharp show up in a different colour. That makes it much easier. But ideally, I'd be using the external monitor too, which I have bought and uh, still getting used to that. When they do catch something, it's not necessarily a fish. This is a, a caddisfly larvae. But inevitably, little grebes have their backs to you. It's very, very common with little grebes. I think it's because we as photographers have usually got the sun over our shoulder so little grebes tend to turn their backs to the sun a lot. It's unusual to get one diving facing towards you as it went underneath. So a few stills pictures from the Cromford Canal. This is one of my favourites taken many years ago but there's that rear end again. It's like a bookend. It goes very straight. I think that's to keep them warm. The sun is warming up underneath the feathers. Early spring is my favourite time to be photographing them. They're very territorial, chasing each other up and down the canal. But at Cromford, the settings are beautiful. Just the amount of reed on the water is it's just right. It all adds to the picture. One year there was a nest right in the middle of the canal. Normally they nest inside the reed beds where it's not so visible. This was quite late in the year. I went back three days in a row and they mated about every two hours. So you got a fairly long wait before they came in. You just see the eggs there which they normally cover up with vegetation when they leave the nest. They lay one egg every day and typically will have a clutch of four to six eggs. When little grebes first hatch out, they are absolutely tiny and I've never managed to photograph them when they're really small. These chicks are actually quite large now. They probably won't be allowed to ride on their parents' backs much longer. And 
now I'll show you some pictures taken in the wild, starting with a bit of movie clip, which I did last year. Notice I'm even lower down than I was for the previous shots. Most wildlife photographers like to get down low to the water level, and here, instead of having the relatively high canal bank, the water just gradually slopes into the, the side of the, the lake, so I could get right down to the water. Little greaves can be incredibly shy in the wild and you often don't know they're there. And the first sign of them is that you hear the call. It's a very distinctive call and you soon recognise it, but then you have to put a hide up on the bank and sit and watch from that hide at a distance as well. Although nest photography is quite old fashioned, little greaves are quite interesting to do on the nest. It can be an attractive situation when it's out in the open. This was on a, a, a an open lake and uh, very much wild birds. So I'm using a hide here. This is a homemade lie down hide. And again, I, I could get down right to the water's edge. It was, uh, there was no steep banks there. They pose well on a nest because every time they climb off it, they cover the eggs over with vegetation. And then when they climb back on, they have to pull that vegetation off again. So you get several seconds to be able to take pictures. The off-duty bird will be swimming about on the lake and coming close from time to time and then you're just trying to get interesting postures. This bird is stretching and calling at the same time. And then I'll finish off with one shot taken in the winter plumage when they are a much duller bird, but still a very cute and attractive one. I've talked before about how photographers like this low angle shot where you get down on the floor close to the water's edge. It's always a very popular picture, but you can take it a stage further. You can make use of a floating hide there are two commercial floating hides on the market at the moment and I believe there's a third one about to be released. I've built a couple myself over the years, not had a great deal of success with them. But today we're going to take it a stage further. Instead of a floating hide, we're going to go one level onwards from that and all you need is a little bit of tubing. Don't try this at home.